QAnon conspiracy theorists were front and center during the storming of the U.S. Capitol. And the mayor of Parker told me today that he made a mistake recently in sharing QAnon propaganda online. Mayor Jeff Toborg told me he was also mistaken when he recently joined an online group threatening public health workers by publishing their home addresses on the Internet. I spoke with Mayor Toborg today about his connection to a number of fringe groups. Let me just go on record, Kyle, is saying I denounce any violence of this type. You know, people cannot be made to feel unsafe or be made unsafe in their own home simply for the job they do. So this is not the first time that you have aligned yourself with an effort to threaten Coloradans for doing their jobs. You're on the board of directors of a political group called FEC United, and you were present at a rally in October where the founder of FEC United, Joe Oltman, uh, spoke just minutes before you. Uh, you then spoke calling him Parker's favorite son. Uh, one of the things he said when he, when he spoke was to threaten journalists who report on the political group that you sit on the board of. Oltman said, we're coming for you, talking about journalists. He said, if you're part of the media and you write something bad about us, better take your byline off of it. Right. So let me let me clarify some facts on that. I left FEC in August, September timeframe to run for mayor. I, I supported FEC in its original intent to help encourage churches, schools, and commerce to be reopened. By the time I was there, I was a mayoral candidate. I was no longer a part of that board. You were present at the event. You spoke following the founder after he threatened journalists, and you complimented him. And my question is, why do you continue to associate yourself with extremist groups that threaten Coloradans for doing their jobs? I, I recall saying that he's a, a favorite son of Parker because of his business here. But, Kyle, I have no affiliations with extremist groups. So FEC is also building a sort of militia, the United American Defense Force, uh, with the goal to, quote, defend and protect what is ours. As mayor of Parker, would you invite your former group's militia to operate within your town? No, absolutely not. And I, you know, the, the Defense Force was a separate part of FEC. So uh, I, I'm trying to get this straight. So you're saying that even though you were on the board of directors of this political group that created a militia, you're not responsible for creating a militia. Kyle, the, the, the piece that I was in had no part of the militia. We were FEC, which stood for Faith, Education, and Commerce. We, I had no part in the militia. From uh, the, the post that you put up about QAnon that you said you were not really aware of, you've also promoted the baseless conspiracy theories that the election was rigged and questioned the safety of the COVID vaccine, uh, signed on to that group to dox public health workers, which you said you didn't know about, uh, and then you were a board member and spoke at this rally where, where journalists were threatened uh, by this group that also has a militia arm. Um, do you believe that, that your own actions qualify you as, as an extremist? No, absolutely not. Are you extremely absolutely. curious? No. You can find my full conversation with Parker Mayor Jeff Tower on the next YouTube channel.